wonderful evening guys uh, yeah it's me again um, it's gonna be a shave video uh, real quick well, real quick for me um, <laughs> I uh, I was originally gonna just you know get on a quick shave before I do my seven sins of wet shaving video which I've been nominated for um, but since I picked a soap that I haven't used on video yet uh, the Pro Rosso Red. Um, I kind of figured, you know, okay, let's turn on the camera. <laughs> Even though it is going to be, uh, you know, uh, just a 24-hour stubble kind of shave. Uh, since I shaved yesterday on the on the live, which uh, was fantastic. I uh, I really liked it. Uh, had great company, and uh, yeah, it was kind of. Kind of like at the barber shops. Uh, at some point in time, things drifted away from shaving, and we talked about uh, you know, God knows what. So excellent, uh, love that. Right. So you've seen the soap, uh, Pro Rosso uh, Red. This is the sandalwood, and this is this is fantastic. Um, it's a uh, softer soap. Might as well leave the lid off. Right? softer soap and uh, I'd have to go back and see what I ordered but uh, I mean my first soap that I ever had was Colonel Conk and I think this was number two or number three so I've had this for a very long time uh, it's still a great soap I just some you know with with all the other stuff that's uh, in the den I really don't get to use it very often besides this um, I consider this somewhat a fall scent uh, because sandalwood, oh, it's just, it's wonderful. So, yeah, we're going to be using that today. Since it is Sunday, the Shave Mac D01 Silver Tip. Yeah, lovely brush. Uh, Sunday, yeah, you kind of kind of want to treat yourself a little bit. So we're using that. And as a razor... What we used yesterday, the uh, Gillette New Short Comb. And today, I've got the rear facing camera so I can zoom in a little bit. I hope, I hope it's picking up. So here we go. Uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, see if that shows up. I have no clue. And you can see it's the short combs and uh, just to kind of point that out, because I tried that yesterday on the live. This is the long comb, and this is the short comb. So as you can see, there's a, a little bit of a difference there. And uh, this one is uh, a tad more aggressive. But really just a tad. I mean, it's not like a super aggressive type razor. Uh, getting very nice shaves out of it, or got on the first try at least, let's put it this way, it was a wonderful shave yesterday with the vintage uh, blue blade. So today we'll be going back to the Dorco Titan or Dorco Titan, whatever you want to call it. That's this wrapper and uh, it was uh, kindly sent to me by the Wisconsin Shaver. And uh, this morning I ordered a hundred of them on a kind of on a whim. Since uh, the first shave I did with it was uh, really good, we're going to see how it performs in this one. I'm just going to put that in there. Just making sure that the alignment's right uh, with a vintage razor, or basically with any razor. You want to you wanna make sure that the blade is not sitting in there kind of crooked or skewed or anything like that. Also, what helps, have a look at how it's sitting in here like this. Um, some razors with some blades might kind of create a wavy contour. And you want to see that uh, that blade is straight. You don't want any waves in it. And let's see, that's fairly straight. That's probably about as straight as we'll get. Not tighten down too much. Let's see if there's any difference. There we go. Nope, that's good. That's good. 
doesn't doesn't throw a, a wave. So that's one thing to watch out for. Uh, new and uh, and vintage razors that your blade is sitting in there right. So just uh, dip the tips a little bit because uh, although Pro Rosso in the tub is a somewhat soft soap. It is one that is slightly thirsty, I've found out. Now, this goes for any, any of the Purazzo products. You're going to want to use a little bit more water on them. If you go real pasty with them, <laughs> found they dry out very quickly on your face. I mean, that stuff sets up like plaster of Paris. You can see it usually where it's a little thinner up here. And if you leave it on there, uh, it'll start drying out. And I mean, you know, it's, it's almost to the point where it's cracking a little bit when you when you move your face so that's when you know you're a little too dry I've also seen uh, videos and I've seen it myself here in the bathroom uh, where if you're going on really dry you start getting little flakes <laughs> so just something to be aware of other than that Pro Rosso is a Great soap, inexpensive, good standby, something I can recommend to anybody starting out with. They have, I think, what, four flavors. Uh, only three are available in tubs. Uh, the green, which is eucalyptus menthol. The white, which is uh, oatmeal, tea tree, and I think green apple and the red which is straight up sandalwood and this brush is is a treat every time nice and soft decent amount of backbone <laughs> Also, lathers up real nice. It's a really easy going soap. Good stuff. And uh, I mean, this this is my my one and only sandalwood. I've uh, smelled a few others. They just uh, didn't do it for me because they were all kind of too woodsy. A little too, I don't know, too sand, too woody, you know, too sandal woody, <laughs> if you want to call it. Uh, this this is a nice sweet scent. It's good, decent amount of strength on the scent. Um, five to six, uh, going more towards the six. It is a stronger scent. And like I said, I might be a little bit biased uh, since I did get it very early on and uh, absolutely fell for it. Now, unlike the other Prosso in a tub, uh, I was gonna gonna say something about that. Uh, the fourth uh, flavor that they have is the blue, and it only comes in a tube. The blue is, um, I think, vitamin E and uh, I don't know what is uh, aloe, I think, or something like that. Um, has a very nice, mild scent. It's also good. I have it in a tube, and I like it very much. Also, do the white. The white is also good. But the white and the green have menthol. The blue and the red do not. The white having very little menthol but it's noticeable. Gives you a nice bit of cooling effect. So, as you can see, that's on there fairly nicely. It's good stuff. Just to show you the, the brush. There we go. There's plenty of stuff on there. All right. Gillette New, Short Comb, Dorco, Teton. Oops, <laughs> almost went against the grain.
what you get for babbling. Uh, like I said, I don't have too much to take off. Good amount of slickness. And for anybody tuning in new, uh, this is kind of a one pass with a little bit of pickups. Like I said, I don't have too much growth. This is what I call a maintenance cleanup shave. Do not recommend this to anybody new to the style of shaving. You want to you wanna figure out first what you can get away with. Here I'm going with the green. Soap is nice and slick. And that last little bit here was already across the grain. So like I said, what you can get away with. You gotta be able to figure that out. I don't have much stubble. So. And this is what I've, uh, hold on. Let me just wet the face a little bit. Get out the suds. Nice and slick. Uh, what was I? What you can get away with, <laughs> basically. And uh, yeah. would be somewhat reminiscent of, of what you could do in the morning. If you got two or three days of growth, you definitely want to take it down bit by bit. But like I said, this is already a somewhat advanced mode. <laughs> stuff and I just wanted to get cleaned up for Monday back to work the grain so yeah blade is uh, blade is doing very well on this razor nice and efficient mild not really mild um, it's it's doing it's a very very good job you can feel that's a sharp blade but it's smooth smooth was the word I'm looking for As you can see, there's plenty of good rest slickness left on the face. I wouldn't do this with a soap that uh, couldn't support it. Like I said, a very slick soap.
For the weekend, well, I know I'm not the chattiest right now. And I've already got the uh, <laughs> the other video in my head about the seven sins of white shaving, which I'll be taping right after the shave. Oh. Like I said, I apologize a little bit. And whew, it's warm in here. Basically, I'm already doing the pickups. This method doesn't necessarily lend, lend itself to a BBS shave or DFS. It's just you're trying to clean up look decent. So basically, real good for, for in the morning. You know, you don't have to last all day. You're not trying to get super close. And this is not a big knot. I think I got myself there. It's good enough. Good enough. All right, that's it. off real quick and then I'll be back for the post all right and we are back feels good still feels like uh, it's got uh, I don't know you know there's something hydrating about it uh, there's some slickness on the face there's you know it's not tight or anything like that it's just feels good feels really good and uh, witch hazel standard variety which I skipped yesterday, but the, uh, the Colgate soap I was using there actually did very well. Didn't feel it dried out or anything like that. So I'm very happy with it. I was a little surprised yesterday. Now as uh, today, like I said, the uh, Pro Rosso, really nice, really nice suds, great soap. Um, like I said, the only recommendation I do have, because it does tend to tend to dry a little bit, is that you, you know, you just kind of it's a thirsty so a thirstier soap, so you know don't don't go skimping on the water. Um, just give it a try, see see if you can you know. Get a little wetter on the face, and uh, it's, uh, I mean, that's everybody's own preference. I'm not saying it is what you have to do, but you know, for, for somebody new that's using this soap, try it out a little on the wet side. So, while we are uh, drying off, let's go through what we used Pro Rosso Red, Sandalwood Scent, fantastic. Absolutely brilliant stuff uh, for the money, definitely. And, uh, it's a great standard product. Can't really say much uh, negative about it. Uh, sure, it has an industrial uh, ingredients list. Um, and there's a lot of stuff in there that you wouldn't have an artisan or on an artisan soap. But uh, it is an industrial product. 
and it's been around for a very very long time uh, I'd have to look but it's uh, definitely older so brush today oops <laughs> need to clean this off uh, the the shave Mac the 01 silver tip fantastic brush I love it and uh, as a razor the Gillette new short comb Paired today with a Dorco Titan, this one, and this was its second shave. Did very well, uh, smooth, efficient, uh, especially paired with this razor. I mean, this razor, like I said, has a little bit more bite. Um, I'm actually gonna gonna see how that razor does with one of them trig blades, uh, since the trig blade was extremely. Um, smooth comfortable and all that kind of stuff but it lacked a little bit of efficiency maybe putting in putting it in a more efficient razor will kind of balance it out that's one thing you want to try if you you know try your blades and different razors just to see how they react known mild ones known aggressive ones just see where they pair well and then you can adjust your shave accordingly so that's kind of you know why do you have several blades on hand? Well, very simple, because like I said, I can adjust my shave however I want to. A more aggressive razor, uh, with a little bit minor, milder blade, you can dial it in really nice. Um, but that's something, you know, like I said, for, for you guys that have been there a while, you guys know it, uh, for the newbies, um, for anybody that's just started out. Uh, it's just something to keep in the back of your head. Not every blade will perform the same in different razors, just saying. So, if you have a blade that doesn't work all so well, try it out in several razors. It might surprise you. <laughs> okay, so, we are dry. Enough babbling. Uh, uh, uh. Hold on, I'm going to cut this. Alright, that's what I call unprepared. Um, <laughs> right at the back of the cabinet. Pro Rosso Red Aftershave. Now this is a proper aftershave, it does have alcohol in it. Um, the blue I think only comes in a bomb and the white only comes in a bomb. So, proper aftershave. But this has very nice properties also. This does have some uh, <clears throat> skin food in it. Got some tingle right here where I overdid it. Right there. That one scrape. I noticed it when I did it. <laughs> it's just a fantastic sandalwood scent. A little on the sweeter side, slightly spicy. Uh, just it, it lends itself to the colder months. Um, but it's not restrictive to it. This is just a, it's a wonderful, wonderful aftershave. And all right, yeah, well, that's pretty well it. Um, I'll turn the camera off. I'll, like I said, see you probably, hopefully in a minute <laughs> uh, for you guys uh, with the other video. I'll just go clean up a little bit and then get my stuff ready for the Seven Sins video. In yeah, I hope you had a good weekend. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, wish you a good start to Mondays, just in case we you're not into, uh, interested in the uh, Seven Sins video. And yeah, I'll probably, hopefully, see you Wednesday, if I can. Um, really good shave. Nice, clean, beautiful. And if you take a look at, you know, skip the babbling part that I, that I do before and after and during uh, it was a fairly quick shave um, so yeah it can be done in, within reasonable time okay uh, like I said I'm out before I start <laughs> bye